What in Harry Potter looked like this? <laughs> Welcome to Without Instructions Lego Edition. Today we have a bunch of Lego pieces, but we have no idea what we're making, no instructions how to do it, and probably no shot. An hour, and I've only done his fingers. This temple needs to be beautiful. I'm looking at the pieces. There's some green, some tan, some browns. Feels like a bank. Let's see what I'm doing today. Three, two, one. Oh my God, what, oh no. The first without instructions we did was an Ikea set and I really focused on trying to uh, create what it was supposed to be. But this time I think I'm going to try to put a little Eugene energy in this and maybe lean into some creativity. We have two hours to try to figure it out and put it together and whoever gets the closest to the actual thing or just does the best job in general will win. Joining us today is 17 year old Jack the Jackhammer, a Lego maniac in his own right. Hi. My name is Jack. A handful of people will know me as the Jack Hammer here on YouTube, but I'm a 17-year-old kid who uh, lives in eastern Georgia in a small town, uh, and I build with Lego. Now, a lot of people, when they were kids, they played with Lego. I was one of those kids, except I never outgrew it. Today, we are actually building this Lego Yoda set. We're going to try to figure this out. Now, what is this? <laughs> I mean, the blurriness will help. <laughs> I, where do you start? Uh, as you can see, it's, it's a big Yoda. Um, it's brick built. It's actually got 1,700 pieces. So it's almost up there to 2,000 pieces. I feel like it has to do something with land because these taupe to tan pieces make me feel like they are terrestrial. I really don't know what the hell is this for? The instruction manual here, you definitely want to use this. And I'm just going to go ahead and say it is going to be nearly impossible if you try and jump in without an instruction booklet, especially for something of 1,700 pieces. Okay. Let's do it. I'm ready. Two hours on the clock. Three, two, one. Let's build Legos. This is, feels like a good clue. Is it a flag? Is it a flagpole? Is it supposed to go through this? It fits. Ooh, is this an avatar? Is this an avatar based Lego set? Do they have avatar based Lego sets? Been watching a lot of Avatar Netflix. Oh, <laughs> Maybe it's a necklace. I know that we talked about dipping into pop culture, we talked about Star Wars, we talked about Harry Potter. Those are also very expensive though, so I don't know if we actually did that. All of this tan reminds me of the Star Wars Episode One, but I don't see any attack drones from Star Wars Episode One, so that's probably not it. Maybe this is gonna be a robot? It's like a little skull. <laughs> And what's this? This looks like a like a like some sort of spaceship base. When in doubt, I'm gonna build a spaceship. When in doubt, make a spaceship. I'm making a spaceship. I'm just gonna go for style. I'm going for creativity. I'm very inspired by Avatar right now. I'm going to make an Earth Kingdom temple. Why is there so much green? Oh, I know what it is. Uh, a mini Yoda. Am I right? I'm totally fucking right. This is his cape. This is his other part of his cape. This is all of his face. Good at Legos. <laughs> what do I think it is? How could I possibly know? It's a bank, of Ned course. Ned knew within seconds. Ned knew within seconds? What told him anything? So what I've done is I've actually organized all of these bags in front of me because the nice thing about Lego sets is that it doesn't give you every single part just in one big box. It's actually organized into bags, and the, the reason why they do this is so you can build certain sections at a time and you can put them to the side, and I would never recommend opening all these bags and dumping them into the same pile. I don't, I just don't, I don't, I'm not gonna follow these mounds. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm like, sorry, who, who, who organized these? Was it you, Jonathan? Was it you, Miles? Was it you? Did you organize them? I'm sorry. All right, I'm gonna grab all the flat pieces and these are gonna be my base. Use these to kind of tape them together. It's not a very attractive color to me, but I, it does look like, just like sand. So I'm gonna make this my, my dirt. Okay, let's just, here we go. Let's just make some decisions. This obviously goes there. Then you've got water. Now, what the f is the blue from? What could it be? 
It can't be a train. I love Legos. I played them a lot as a kid. I built all sorts of spaceships and I remember I had this giant mothership that was like this big with 10 little tiny flyers that would go poof and like fly off of it. I was a subscriber to Lego Magazine. Every month I submitted my creation to that freaking magazine and I never got featured. As a kid, when I played with Legos, I usually just had the big buckets of Legos and I would just make whatever was in my imagination. I guess the painters, and I was more of a Lego painter. One year for Hanukkah, I got the Steven Spielberg Lego Movie Maker Kit. There was a camera that you could do stop motion, and it connected into basically like a version of iMovie. It's how I learned how to edit, but my entire passion for movie making and storytelling really started with that kit. You know, I was a kid, I had Legos, but I didn't have a Lego set where I was like trying to build a specific castle. I just had Lego mishmash passed down from my brothers. I made boats, I put them in my bathroom sink and they'd float until they didn't. I'm creating a base, I think. I'm like very into symmetry, so I don't really know what I'm doing. I just know that I want this to look symmetrical. Here we go. <laughs> There's this his cloak and his lightsaber, it's coming together. So these are his fingers, and these are his nails. There we go. Little tiny fingers, four little claws. <laughs> uh, here's some circles. Maybe it's just Harry Potter. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe it's just Hogwarts. There's some guys with heads. There any faces on there? No. There's no heads. Why would that be? Why would there be no heads? Is it the famous headless ghosts part of the Harry Potter world? Okay, so I've got a nice beige base. You know what's really weirding me out about this is how there are so all these long flat pieces. I can't even build height with this shit. So these are Technic parts. They're not system parts like this. So a system part, it's pretty much the Lego you were used to, but there's something called Technic parts, which are parts like this with axles and gears. But if you're trying to jump into this blind, using parts like these is gonna be near impossible. And I'm pretty sure if you try to build this without an instruction manual, these parts you probably won't even use. This, okay, hey, hold on. We got arms. Oh. <laughs> Oh, what? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Akio instructions. <laughs> what in Harry Potter looked like this? You're in the wrong franchise. <laughs> what is it? So it's Star Wars? You're telling me this is Star Wars? Kind of created like a base for my bossing say structure. <laughs> my Earth Kingdom structure. Uh, and now I'm just deciding how I'm gonna build up this temple. I know the greens because they have these curved pieces would be good for an Asian roof. Oh, I wish they were this way though. But the black looks like it only has flat pieces, so I'm gonna make this the bottom. We're just gonna start building something because that's what Lego is. I always like in my spaceships making little secret compartments. Here it is so far. He's like holding it and he's like, do or do not. There is no try. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. That's Obi-Wan, but you know. Half an hour left. An hour, and I've only done his fingers. Okay, okay, you guys, I'm a little overwhelmed right now. Uh, I, I am pitting out. This can't, what could it be? Is it R2-D2? Let's just put all these on the thing. Let's just do this, huh? Some that shoots a laser. I don't have enough of the pieces I want for the base I want, but I think I accidentally actually made part of a roof. This is basically you building the skeleton or the frame of, of Yoda himself. So now you can start to see, this is going to be a Yoda. You can start to see uh, you got two feet and a skeleton body. Basically, they don't have that. I don't even think they're gonna build a Yoda. I think they're just gonna be even more creative and find something else to build. Then it would come down to who built the most creative thing, and that'd be kind of interesting. I'm making sort of a bossing say Earth Kingdom pagoda. So I took one pile and I said, F it, I'm making a spaceship. Ooh, orange, hell yeah. This, uh, now I'm saving these. These gotta be featured pieces. My new thinking is that all of the beige is gonna be the desert landscape on which I built. So we got this done. That's looking good. Is it a lightsaber? <laughs> oh! No, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I've got his two hands on this little thing which comes up 
and then can come in to grasp the lightsaber. Da, 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 da. Oh, Yoda holding a lightsaber. <laughs> this is what I shall submit to the judges. Why would his lightsaber be this big? You gotta think, let's think now for a minute. <laughs> a, a lightsaber this big would mean a person this big. Yoda! It's Yoda! It's Yoda! Okay! <laughs> Let's begin! That looks like a structure of some sort. <laughs> I'm trying to make the um, curved edge of the, like, East Asian style roofs. Hey, <laughs> cool. That's Asian. This is, f okay, first of all, this is pretty dope. I put this in here. It's like a little seat belt or maybe a control panel. It's gotta be from a Star Wars. Maybe it's from uh, the new shitty one where they go to the Desert Coachella Festival. You guys remember that scene? And then they find Lando Calrissian? Very convenient. It's starting to take shape. You know what you're building now? Looks like Yoda. Ooh, we're gonna connect this to the skeleton. It's funny how this is actually like white, like the actual bones. This is what we call a snot technique because we're placing it sideways so the studs are not on top, so it's a snot building technique. And look at that, huh? It's starting to shape up. Uh, at this point, I just gotta start putting stuff together. So this will be the top of his head. Here's some of his hair. Dee -dee 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 -dee. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Do we like? Do we like it? Let's just build Yoda. What does Yoda look like to you, huh? To me, he's a little man. Let's just, let's just, we're, we're, we're making Yoda. These are his feet. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to get him a nice set of feet. <laughs> and we're gonna give him these as his little freaky toes. And we gotta start getting him green. He's a green boy. Green. All right, so I've got his face in a pretty good shape. Gave him some Groucho Marx eyebrows. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hair is time. Okay, look at his little, little feet. Okay, this is obviously complete, obviously perfect. Put that aside. Wait, put some orange on it. Maybe this is like a landing port. I am now invested in 20 million. This temple needs to be beautiful. The next objective is building a second tower, and then once I get the, the general structure, I'm just gonna start filling it in with details. Because Asian temples are very colorful, so actually the color scheme here is gonna be really fun to play with. I like how he looks so far. Not a lot of people have a sexual attraction to Yoda. Not a lot of people. So what Lego does to make it easier to find certain parts is that the parts that are on the inside that you can't see from the outside when the whole set is complete, they'll make them a strange color. So it'll be like, uh, in this case, yellow, blue, and green, which doesn't make sense for Yoda, but I appreciate it because it's so much easier to find. This is like the side it's gonna go on right here. I'm accepting the fact that whatever they're building right now is most likely nowhere even close to Yoda. So I'm seeing these little things which seem like a real pain in the ass. I don't want to do them, but if I just kind of drop them in here, it's like a swimming pool. Okay, he needs to be taller. How are we gonna get that to happen? They say that knees are the windows to the soul. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm pitting out like crazy. We're gonna do a, a mid-tier shirt change. It's gotta be like NASCAR, super quick. Always bet on Gage, tryguys.com. All right, so here's what's happening. I have got his body kind of started to assemble. This is his brain, very important. He's very smart. Um, here's his, his little arm, and I've gotta figure out a way to attach his hands to his arm. Now we make the hips. <laughs> Looking stylish, he's probably got some cool like waist thing. So I need to connect his brain to his face and then his arm to his lightsaber and then his body <laughs> to his feet. Okay, I'm just gonna make some stuff and eventually I'm gonna have to create a narrative. Everybody loves a narrative. Hammer's gonna love that. I don't know, I'm pretty proud of this and I kind of think I could just throw the rest of these pieces away. This is a fucking lightsaber. Did I just find a lightsaber? This is Star Wars. Not anymore. It's bossing say, baby. Now it's on the top of my temple. What the fuck is this? A flag? Oh, this is probably a flag. 
Asians don't do flags like that. Okay, I made his mouth. <laughs> Now we just gotta go upwards, baby. Upwards. Okay, here we are. He's coming together. Thanks for joining us again. Look at this Yoda right now. So he's got his little tunic. He's got this little cute dress situation. And then now his, his bare chest is being exposed because he's a strong ass Yoda. Those are, these are his training rectangles and he throws them at Luke. All the pieces are flat, which is so frustrating because you can't get any height on this guy. Well, I have made uh, his face a little more three-dimensional. <laughs> See, I've got this like skeleton little thingy, and then this is a piece, and then, then I'm trying to connect it to this, but it's gotta be a lot stronger than that. I can't figure out how to keep his head on his body. Connect it there, and then this plops right into place on the other side, and just like that. Starting to look like a Yoda head. Now he's got a head that can kind of tilt forward and stuff. So that's kind of cool. Oh! Oh! Holy shit! This must be right. Work hard, I do. Figure it out, I must! I don't think I'm gonna be able to use all the pieces, and you know what? That's gonna... I'm gonna lose. But I did come up with a very exciting discovery. We've got this. We've got this, together, a tasteful boner. Oops, my penis was on the internet again. Okay, I'm just gonna start adding more stuff just to make it look cooler. Kinda gives it more jagged. Yeah! <laughs> Ooh, maybe I should give the ship a boner. <laughs> oh, guys, we're figuring out what this is supposed to be! The dick ship. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm, I took the structure off so I can put all these nice green pieces down so I can create my garden. What else looks like flowers here? These kind of look like flowers. Yeah, maybe it's a crop top. And he's also, cause I'm running out of greens and I gotta have some greens for his head. Okay, so his torso, his shirt is almost done. And then we gotta get the arms. Okay. That's a robe. And... Very top heavy. This looks like a little shield. <laughs> and that slides on just like that. Boom. He's holding a lightsaber. I'm trying to get it. I don't even know how the face could possibly work. Okay, hold on. Yeah, okay, okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. All right, I've only got a few minutes left. I clearly have not even attempted to use any of these pieces, so I'm going with a concept here. We've got our dope spaceship. He's got a little hot tub. Of course, there's a lifeguard chair here because safety first. And then I have this diving board, but I have this boner and I don't know what to do with it because if I put it on the ship, it's like a ship. What if? It's a boner diving board. That's definitely what Lego intended. <laughs> nice. Okay, you've got one oh God, okay. Uh, let's get his belly button. Oh, now how do we get that belly button to work earlier? We did this. We put his little belt on and give him a, a little Yoda belly button. That's adorable. Okay, we are down to the final minute. I know, I know, I know. Just let me finish my pond. There we go. Da, 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 da. Just put it like this. Yoda! I just need him to claw it. That looks yeah. pretty good. Okay. It's supposed to be in his belly button too. Oh yeah. Yoda! I feel pretty good about this. <laughs> After hours of perfect building, it is now time to be judged. I am very excited to see uh, what the f this was supposed to be. And now we're going to go uh, meet with 
Jack on a Zoom, and he's gonna tell us if we nailed it. I'm pretty sure I got, it's Yoda. He's kind of got that perplexed, like he ate something sour kind of face. <laughs> How's it going, Jack? I'm good, how are you? We're good, we're good. You are a Lego expert, huh? I, I like to think I'm an expert, but by all means, probably not. Well, I am so excited to finally find out what it is we have been trying to build this whole time. Yo, I only want to see him. I also am going to do that. Yeah, okay, Jack. Are Tell you us what we built. Uh, here it is. Dude, what the oh. Oh. What? <laughs> Jesus. Ah. I knew it! I knew it! Star Wars! Did they I didn't think know what... that we were gonna build that? This is what it looks like in real life. Oh yeah! Oh, wow. oh my god! god. That, it's so big! It must be a beginner's mistake because I automatically only thought of locations and places. That's not a bad place to go to because a lot of it, a lot of what Lego is, is locations and places. Hopefully you would have gotten the cue that it's a lightsaber or a popsicle or something like that. Nope! <laughs> Alright! <laughs> Well, what criteria are you going to be judging us today? There's three factors. The first one is accuracy, so that's how close you guys got to the actual set. Uh, the second one is completion, and that's how many pieces you use. Uh, and then the final factor uh, is creativity. So if you didn't get anywhere close, if you just rolled with it and it looks cool, that's just that's a plus in my book. How many Lego bricks have you stepped on in your lifetime? <laughs> more, more than I can count. The, your sand or your feet becomes like sandpaper after a while, so you don't feel it. I believe I'm presenting first. Mm -hmm. I had in the back of my mind that maybe this was Star Wars related because that's a lot of Lego shit. I gave up really quickly. So I said, I'm going to go with something that's currently inspiring me. I've been watching a lot of Avatar. Seeing the color scheme, I immediately thought Earth Kingdom, which I proudly present to you, is my Avatar Ba Sing Se Earth Kingdom. Pagoda. Whoa! Whoa. Wow! Yeah. Very beautiful. Cool. I love it. I'm impressed. Jeez Louise. The inside is a pond. That's where I use the blue. So there's a, there's a pond underneath. These pieces that are supposed to be right side up and turn them upside down so that they would create more of an Asian style roof where they curve upwards. That is impressive. I'm not gonna lie. Obviously, that's that's not a Yoda. <laughs> so the accuracy is definitely almost all the way at the bottom. You didn't use a whole lot of parts, but you used parts in a way that I would not have expected you to. So I'm impressed by that. Uh, and your completion score, even though you didn't use a lot of pieces, I'm impressed by the piece count, or like the, the, the style of pieces and the way you use them. Where I was completely blown away by was creativity. Because if I had to do this same challenge, I don't think I ever would have flocked to something like this. So your creativity through the roof, I am thoroughly impressed, and I love the way it looks. Jack, I don't know if you've ever seen Try Guys Without a Recipe, but this is pretty much in line with my typical narrative. <laughs> vaguely I Asian. I didn't know what I was doing, vaguely Asian. Maybe I basically kind of used the force. Wow. Wow. All right, uh, next is Keith. Now, I will say that I was able to guess that this was Yoda. My approach to this this Yoda was uh, to build him from the ground up. So you'll see my completion gets less and less as the taller he gets. But I did give him some style. I did give him some flair. I wanted him to be a hottie bow body. And this is my Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh yeah! Is that a belly button or a dick in the middle? It's a belly button. <laughs> it is uh, a belly button. <laughs> that middle section, that's sort of him wearing a crop top. So his belly is out. He's feeling good about himself. And then as you can see, the head, I really ran out of time. It's like Yoda's hot wife. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as far as accuracy goes, you you knew that I was Yoda, and you knew that you were building a big Yoda. So your accuracy, even though it's exact, it's not exactly like the set. You built Yoda, so uh, your accuracy is pretty much up there. You got the idea correct. Uh, as far as completion, you used a lot more pieces than Eugene did. Like you used. Um, a lot of different pieces too. Um, and for creativity, I, I like what you did by taking Yoda and making him hot. <laughs> you didn't make Yoda, you made baby girl Yoda. <laughs> baby girl. <laughs> Baby Baby Yoda. Yoda. Well, thank you, Jack. Uh, your your words are very inspiring to me. Perhaps I do also have a huge career in this. Um, 
Jack, welcome to my world of Lego imagination. Now, I did not know that it was Yoda. Actually, I did figure out that it was Yoda, but decided intentionally to do something else that was definitely a choice and not a desperation. I proudly present Droid's Day Off. Boom. Oh my goodness. Wow. wow. So what you have here is a, is a droid that has actually left his life and he's gone to the desert and he said, you know what? I'm gonna build this scavenging ship and build my own little life. So let's take a look at his ship. He's got a dope ass, these little things that, that search for buried treasure and suck them up. I use one of those little connection pieces uh, for a little cockpit. If we go over here, we see the droid. He's got a mini lightsaber. Hell yeah! <laughs> he's living life. And of course, uh, going back to the wide, you see he's got a swimming pool that he hangs out in. <laughs> and what's that next to the swimming pool is that a boater diving board! That's right, he's got a giant dick for a diving board because he's jealous of humans. And that's what I built. Okay, so for accuracy, you didn't build Yoda, but no. you were you still kind of went a Star Wars route because you built a spaceship. Um, that's a couple accuracy points in my book. As far as completion, you've made a complete set. So you may not have used all the pieces that came in this set, but you have three separate portions of to your to your model. As far as creativity, this is also extremely creative because you still made a swimming pool and a a boner diving board. So it's pretty cool. I think your creativity is uh, really high and your completion is also really high in my book. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you, Jack. Uh, your words mean the word world to me. Uh, well, Jack, for my creation, uh, I was attempting to build Yoda. That's what I thought it was. Uh, but you know, I, Yoda's always so like stoic. I wanted to give him some expression, some joy, some pizzazz. So I present to you. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> you know, he's holding that lightsaber, so he's fighting. He's not like, mm, he's like. Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh, oh, <laughs> that is <Shrek>. terrifying. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. It's like Shrek got shrunk and electrocuted. Yeah, I gave him some Groucho Marx eyebrows. And if you look in the close up, I really, really focused on getting his claws to grip that lightsaber. I am impressed, to say it simply. Uh, it does actually look like Shrek. Like, <laughs> like, his ears kind of look like Shrek, the eye I don't know what makes him look like Shrek, but he does kind of look like it. As far as making the actual set, you're the most accurate out of everybody. You got the closest to making El Yoda, and you got the closest to the actual positioning of holding the lightsaber. As far as completion, uh, I'd say it's definitely up there as well, because you, you made a full Yoda, so you completed what you were trying to go for, and as far as creativity, Unfortunately, and this is kind of like a double-bladed sword because, well, if you want to be super accurate, it's hard to be super creative. While you were very accurate and complete, you didn't go super duper creative. The most creative thing I see, uh, which is actually a good thing, is you gave him an expression on his face. But I definitely think you excelled in actually completing the thought you were going for and making an accurate version of Yoda. I want to put Ned's head on my guy's body. I think we'd have a pretty convincing monster. So this is the hard part. I've got to choose a winner. I've got to choose three different losers. Eugene, he started off. I really, really like his concept. I was so impressed by what it was that I didn't really care that he only used a handful of pieces or that it wasn't a Yoda at all. For Keith, a uh, very creative route. Gave him a very flowy skirt and a, like he said, a tube top. So that's very funny. Zach, I really liked his model a whole lot because he had the most it felt like the most complete model, and the fact that he made a spaceship, a swimming pool, and a diving board that you can visit, like position how you want, and you can fly the spaceship in, and you can move the droid around. That was something really cool. And then finally, we had Ned. His is probably the most accurate. Uh, he pretty much nailed the lightsaber in the hands. His creativity is a little bit low, uh, but it's definitely super duper accurate and super duper cool. This is the, the really hard part, because I don't want to do some people dirty, but I have to. So. In fourth place, think of it as fourth place, not last place. In fourth place, 
I'm gonna have to put Keith. Oh, you fell! Oh, oh, you me? I'm you sorry. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm from the South. I'm from Tennessee, right next to Georgia. Are you? Are you kidding me? Look at him. Look at that. Look what are you talking about? Oh my God! I can't believe this. Look. Are you kidding me? <laughs> the reason, hear me out, the reason I had to put it at the bottom. Because it, it was right? <laughs> no, because no, it doesn't It doesn't feel complete. But I could see that you were running out of time. And I could see that you were pressured. Well, we're never going to be friends now. Oh. <laughs> That's all I've got to say about that. I don't know how we can come back from this. Last place, I will accept it. However, our friendship is over. <laughs> You're not Jackie's favorite. <laughs> I actually, I have a couple that I'm tossing up in the air right now. Oh, so you weren't sure about second third, but you <laughs> goddamn know who's last. <laughs> this is so tough. I think I know what third place is. For third place, I'm going to say Eugene. Um. He, of yeah. course, did not build a Yoda. Um, even if he like knew that he was supposed to go that route, he went a completely different route, and he built something that I think actually looks the best out of everybody. It's really creative, it may not be accurate, but I really like the way it looks. I, I like the direction. Like That is something that I would actually display. So, that's why I have to put oh my God. it there. That's the only criticism I could ever ask for. Thank you. I only want people to call me a good looking build. <laughs> <laughs> Ned, if I were there with you, I would be holding your hand and yeah. squeezing it tight right now, dude. Yeah, me too. Uh, this one is this one is tough. This one's real tough. It is? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's this second and first is so close, I almost want to do a coin flip right now. Like, that's how close it is. I think I got it. I think I got it. Because y'all said follow my heart and what I would like to see in LEGO. For first place, I would crown Zach at the top. All right, hear me out, hear me out. So, Ned, he made Yoda. He made the best looking Yoda. He made the closest thing to the actual set. Yeah! I don't build sets and stuff like that. I build stuff from my own head. And that's basically what you guys were doing. So, I'm tending to lean more towards creativity than I am accuracy. So if I were to lean like all the way to accuracy, like the most accurate build always wins, then Ned would have by far won. Mm -hmm. But, mm -hmm. The reason Zach is on top, he hit the mark right on creativity. As I mentioned before, it's complete because he has three separate portions to his build. Jack, thanks for uh, judging us today. I'm sorry about our friendship, but for all those who want to see more of your amazing stuff, they can check out your channel through the link down below. And comment below, what do you want us to see build next? I do want to like give props to everybody because I liked every single thing. The idea is strong in every single thing. It's too late now. <laughs> <laughs> it's over between us. Is it the Millennium Falcon? Is it Tatooine? Is it Endor? It's not Hoth. AT-AT? No.